Hey everybody, Drew here with Epic Arms and Outdoors. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Red Shed Knives Locust. Stay tuned. Today's video, we're going to be overviewing the brand new model from Red Shed Knives called the Locust. Just going to go over some basic specs, do a quick paper cut test and cardboard cut test, and my initial first thoughts. So we'll go over some basic specs first. By my calculations, because I was an idiot and forgot to ask Red Shed what the dimensions were on this, I had to break out this Stanley ruler and uh, measure it myself. So I came up with approximately a 2.75 inch blade, looking at just under four inches for your handle, and a total length of six and a half inches. So your blade steel is gonna be 80 CR V2, which they use a lot in their blades. It is a full tang construction with two-tone micarta handle scales that are pinned in. You do have a lanyard hole back here and that did not come like that. I roughed it up a little bit. I don't even know what I was doing. So you do have some jimping up top here and the sweet carving on the top of the blade here. And then your Red Shed Knives logo on the spine. It does come with a Kydex sheath that I had them do custom for me with the Ulti Clip so I could carry that very comfortably beside my EDC Bang Bang. And I really, really, really like the Ulti Clip option for carrying a fixed blade inside the waistband. And the sheath fits perfectly. It does have two more grommets up here if you wanted to make it a neck knife, but in my opinion, a little heavy for that. So just get you a close up of that beautiful, beautiful micarta and that blade. It is a drop point design and very highly polished here. And then I really, really love the rock texture up top. And this is the first knife that I have gotten from Red Shed that he threw some jimping up top because I've been complaining about it for a while. Uh, most fixed blades that I have purchased here recently have not come with jimping. And that's just a, a thing that I prefer. Not a deal breaker or anything, but I just prefer having jimping up there. And it definitely does help out with getting some traction when you're cutting. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and do a paper cut test. Let's get to some cutting. We've got our cold steel catalog here. Let's do a quick few paper cut tests. Now, I will admit, I have used this quite a bit since I got it and have not touched it up or anything, but it is still slicing just fine. Let's tackle some cardboard. So out of the three different models of Red Shed knives that I've reviewed so far and have tested out and have been carrying, the Locust is definitely the favorite by far. Between its size, the weight, the Ulti Clip sheath, just everything, the color, all that good stuff. Not to say that the other two are bad by any means whatsoever. They are great knives and you should definitely check Red Shed knives out. I will link their website as well as the Instagram in the description box below. But with all that being said, the Locust is definitely the favorite for everyday carry. The other two are also very, very good knives by all accounts and whatnot. I just, I love the jimping. I like that Red Shed included their logo on the spine here. My two favorite colors for EDC are blue and gray. Uh, 
I mean, the ulti clip is awesome. The sheath fitment is awesome. Just everything about this knife is wonderful. Just a very well-made knife. That ADC RV2 is a awesome steel and very easy to resharpen. Like I say, I've been beating on this ever since I got it a couple weeks ago and have not touched it up or anything like that. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comment box. If you're not done so already, please feel free to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And y'all have an awesome, awesome day.